Welcome to this video. Today we'll cover circular and linear sketch patterns. Um, the linear, the sketch patterns are here, and this is for modifying an engineering sketch. And the, you can also pattern it after an extrusion, and that will be this guy linear pattern right here. I'm going to cover both today, but let's jump right into an example where I will do sketch. So what, what do I do here? I uh, I want to get five evenly spaced holes, and I have one that I know where it is, and I just need four more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my linear sketch pattern and select circular sketch pattern. Now the first thing we look at is parameters, and it's saying what do I want to be the center of my circle for my circular sketch pattern. I've got my origin in the middle, so I'm going to click my origin here. There we go, point two. And you can also select you know, a point, an arbitrary point on an XY plane, but I've got my points, so this makes these irrelevant. It's saying, do I want to go the full 360 degrees around on my pattern? Yes, I do. Do I want equal spacing? Yes, I do. Um, I can dimension a radius or angular spacing, but it really is this simple. I just come down here, I choose the entity that I want, and I choose five holes, and it gives me five yellow holes that I can dimension from. And I can click the screen check, and I've got my five holes. Notice I've lost my, uh, I'm, I'm under defined now. What I need to do to become defined again is simply create a few easy dimensions between my holes. Whoops, I don't want to do that. And if I say put a dimension here, I should be fully defined. There we go, fully defined. So it really is that simple. I'm going to hit Control Z a few times and talk a little bit about what your options are further in. So if I choose a circular sketch pattern and I choose point 0.2 to be my uh, parameter that I'm going to have this be the center of my circle, and then what do I want to pattern? I want to pattern this, and I want to have five holes. Well, let's say I only want to go 270 degrees around. I don't want to go the full 360 degrees. SolidWorks is working really slowly because my screen recorder is taking some RAM. But if I say 720 to, I'm 270, not 720, well, now I haven't gone around all the way. Literally 720 degrees. Now let's say I want to have five holes halfway around. Well, then I'll say 180 degrees, and it recalculates going halfway around with my uh, five holes around here. So that is a very, very useful feature. And uh, notice I can dimension a radius, and I can dimension angular spacing as well. And what that does is uh, gives me some dimensions to work with. Of course, I don't need that. You you only really need that in uh, special circumstances, but it is an option. So that's pretty much everything you need to know for a circular um, circular sketch pattern is what it's called. So that's everything you need to know for a circular sketch pattern. Why don't we take a look at linear? Uh, I want to have four of these holes spaced across this mounting plate for bolts to go in to hold the plate down. Well, let's, uh, we can dimension and make four different holes, but I can also go linear sketch pattern here. And uh, this is a really cool tool and it's really powerful. Uh, so let's say we want to go on the y-axis, so put four holes on the y-axis this way, and it's saying uh, what entities do I want to pattern? I want to pattern this hole and I want to have four of these holes. So I've got four, and how much distance do I want between the hole centers? Let's say 2.5 inches. And notice we have a duplicate. We've got two holes. This is because our x is saying we want to have some on the x direction. So if I say I only have one instance on the x-axis, we're down to one hole. But if I wanted to make a whole grid of holes, I can even say I want like three in the x direction with 2.5 inches between those and should my mounting plate be bigger I could have 
all those holes instantly. It sure beats drawing and dimensioning and constraining all these different holes when with a linear sketch pattern I can make all this based off of one hole. I'll bring this and I might as well say if I've got all these holes and one hole is going to be in the way I can select instances to skip and I can click on whatever hole that I do not want to have. Very very useful powerful tool. But I'll get rid of these instances to skip and say I only want that one row in the X direction. Then I just click the check and voila! You have all of your holes. And like the circular dimensioning, you just need to have a few um, relations added between each hole. My SolidWorks is working very slowly because this little screen recorder here, but once you get a few dimensions in, you're fully constrained and you'd be ready to extrude. And there you have a mounting plate. Why don't we talk about um, doing sketch patterns as we, if we already have an extrusion going because I can't do a uh, sketch pattern on this because I've already done the sketch mounting plate but it doesn't have any holes in it that's because if I uh, want to modify a feature that came from the sketch I have to modify the sketch but if I add something after I've done the extrusion on a different sketch I can begin by making a, a new feature. And so I'm going to say I want this to be 8 inches. And I want to say 1.5 inches in diameter. This I want to be 1 inch. So I've got something fully defined. And let's say I want to have 3 holes. In this case I can do an extruded cut and I'll say through all. There's my cut. Now I'll say linear pattern. And since this was a feature that was added that was not part of the original sketch, I can choose a generic direction and I can say I want three instances of this happening. That seems not quite so centered. I'm not going to go exact. I'd have to do my math problems to figure out the exact center, but I'll eyeball it and say that about three inches between centers looks about right. And I've just added a uh, linear sketch pattern. I'm sorry, I've added a linear pattern to a feature. And that's how you do that same essential idea. You just use this for features, and if it's part of the sketch, you can use the linear sketch pattern for a sketch. Um, I didn't cover how to do a circular sketch pattern, but it really is on the exact same principles. If you have any questions or have any trouble doing a uh, circular pattern on the features menu, just uh, you can post the question to our Facebook page here or um, send me an email. You can find all of my tutorials here in this directory. Um, hope you've had a nice time. If this has been at all helpful, please subscribe because that's how you can help me back. Otherwise, I'll catch you later.